Now, you don't need a physical SIM card for you to be able to make phone calls, send SMSs, or even use mobile data. I'm talking about this, this type of SIM cards. This one. The ones where you normally require a pin for you to be able to plug in and plug out. And you know that's a lot of work. So whenever you need to switch a SIM card, you must look for one of these. Let me show you. One of these. Yeah. So you don't need this type of SIM cards. You can simply check if your phone is eSIM enabled, then find the embedded SIM card inside your phone. Okay, I'm going to explain what I mean by all this. Probably I'm still confessing you. But some people know already about this. Now, if you don't know about this, stay tuned. Before we continue, I'd like to thank you guys for over 20k subscribers. It means a lot. Thank you. But if you are watching for the first time or you've been watching my videos without subscribing, which is very dangerous, <laughs> kindly make sure you do. Hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. So what do I mean by an eSIM? Now, how do I put this in simple terms? Okay, so an eSIM, it simply, okay, let me put it this way, an internal SIM card. Well, but you don't need this physical SIM card where you normally plug in and plug out for you to be able to access normal cellular services. Yeah, with an eSIM, you can simply scan a QR code, then it gets installed in your mobile phone, the SIM card. And some devices can support up to eight. So this is one advantage of an eSIM, yeah? Now, not all phones are eSIM enabled. And I'm going to show you guys how you can check if your phone is eSIM enabled and how you can get an eSIM. If you want to confirm if your mobile phone is eSIM enabled, you can simply go to your phone settings and uh, phone information, check the email details. Then if you find an aid number, EID number, then that means your phone is eSIM enabled. You can use the embedded SIM. Alternatively, there is a simple code you can use, which is star hash zero six hash. Normally gives you the email information. Then if your phone is eSIM enabled, you'll find the EID number displayed. That means your phone can support eSIM, the embedded SIM. Now, one advantage of this is, as I've just mentioned, support up to eight SIM cards. Unlike the normal phone whereby you find most can only support up to two, and some phones are even limited to one SIM card. So for an embedded SIM, supports even up to eight in some devices. And another thing is that if your phone is stolen, maybe thieves won't have the privilege of having to remove your SIM card immediately. Like, it will take them a complex process, maybe to be able to uninstall this eSIM, the embedded SIM. For normal SIM cards, they can simply pull it out and boom, you can't even call your phone again and maybe try tracing it. But for an eSIM, it will give you that advantage. And also, with an eSIM, you don't have to worry about physical damage or maybe walking around with the pin, walking around with this. So you can simply switch in your settings, once you've installed it, the SIM card you want to use, then boom, that's it. You can use your phone normally with the normal SIM card services. Now, how do you acquire this eSIM and how do you install it in your device once you've acquired it? Now, uh, for Safaricom, you can simply visit a Safaricom shop. Then they can install for you the eSIM. They will give you the code to scan. Alternatively, after confirming if your mobile phone is eSIM enabled, you can go directly to my Safaricom app. The Safaricom app, then you'll find a way you can request for the eSIM. Then you'll get the QR code and scan it. Then boom, it will be installed in your mobile device. Now, to install it in your mobile phone, you'll simply head over to your phone settings. Under networks and internet, maybe under SIM cards, you can select and see if you can see the plus option to add an embedded SIM. Then you go ahead and scan the QR code, then boom, you have the eSIM installed in your phone. So that's it. For more cool videos and more informative content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Jinani R2 Junior. I'll see you. Peace out to Angu.